Hi, good vibes! For today's video, I am going to share with you how to deal with the loss of our cats. I know losing them is heartbreaking, but whether we like it or not, we have to let them go. So let's get right into it. When we lose a loved one, in this case our cats, we may go through these five stages of grief that is according to the Kubler-Ross model. So let's break it down. First stage is denial. This stage is typically one of the first stages of grief that you will go through. It is different for everyone and some people skip this stage. But I just want to say that knowing and acknowledging that your cat is gone is normal and okay. The next stage is anger. You may feel angry at yourself, at the disease that caused the death of your cat, and you may even get angry at your own cat, well for leaving you. But remember that it's okay to feel that way because what you feel is totally valid and anger is part of grieving. But at the same time, please don't stay at this stage for a long time for it will not be good for you and for the people around you. We all have to move on. Now we are on the bargaining stage. In this stage, we find ourselves trying to think what we could have done differently to prevent the death of our cats. This is also the if only I did this or what if I did that stage. Sometimes we also try to have a deal to the heavens to maybe bring our cats back. Next stage is the depression stage. I think almost everyone experiences this stage of grief. We cry a lot, sleep a lot, we don't even want to do anything. We feel this deep sadness and loneliness knowing that they will not come back to us. I'm gonna tell you that it is beyond normal to feel this way but also at the same time, we don't want to stay at the depression stage forever. The final stage of grief is acceptance. Finally, and hopefully as time pass by, acceptance is a must for anyone who has lost a loved one. Generally, death is inevitable. There are also ways on how we can process our grief on losing our cats. The things we do to cope with losing a cat may vary from person to another. There are some who want to be alone while others want to get a new cat as soon as possible. But if you want, you may try these tips if you don't know how to process your grief. Pictures If you have pictures of your cat or his favorite things, you can make a photo album or a scrapbook to be a reminder of his happy days and you can just look at them if you miss him. Reminder Speaking of reminder, it's important to remind yourself that you can't make this time slow down or sped up but it'll get easier for you to cope with each passing day. Redirect You may want to redirect your attention and focus on other things. You can do and spend time doing things that you really enjoy. Well, that's it for now. I hope this video may be a good help in dealing with your loss. But if you want to know more about cat's death, click this video on the left or you may want to watch this video on the right that talks about the signs of a dying cat. And I hope to see you on this videos.